Mega Man 3 is a game people typically call the best Mega Man game in the entire series, but are those people right or is Mega Man 3 actually overrated? Well, today we're going to find out by beating Mega Man 3 the cool way. Let's go. Let's go on. I want to play it. I want to play the game. Let's go. Mega Man 3, the game that lots of people say is their favorite Mega Man game of all time, but I would have to disagree. I do think this is a great game and I'm going to enjoy playing it, but this is the one I think is a little bit overrated, if anything, but let's just get into it. First of all, what this line at the bottom right that glitches, why was that emulated in the Legacy Collection? Like, this does happen on the original hardware on the NES, but couldn't Capcom have fixed that? Uh, anyway, I always start with Top Man because because he's the easiest, especially with the plain old dude, but you could start with pretty much whoever you want because there's two weapon cycles in this game, which is kind of complicated. Basically, Gemini Man, Snake Man, and Needle Man all have their own weakness alignment circle thing, so you're gonna have to fight two bosses with your plain old dude. Why am I not sliding? I, for I forgot I could slide. I've been playing too much Mega Man 1 and 2 recently. Mega Man 3 is one of the laggiest, if not the laggiest Mega Man game of all time. And you could say Mega Man 4 is maybe a little bit laggier, but I think Mega Man 3 is the laggiest. And Mega Man 4 has at least some reason to lag. I mean, you can charge your buster. Anyway, in these videos, if you're new to this, we're just going to beat the entire game in one sitting. And because people have been asking me a lot about Battle Network and the X Games, those will come. I will eventually do videos like this, but because they don't get as many views. I'm gonna try not to make these videos frequently, but I will still make them just because they're, some of you guys really do enjoy them. Also, it's Garfield! Say hi to Garfield, everybody! If you like Garfield, leave a cat emoji down in the comment section. I love Garfield. One time I said that was Garfield and someone in the comments got mad at me and was like, that's not Garfield, but it is. It looks like Garfield. I'm calling it Garfield. You can't stop me. But yeah, I will eventually make these on Mega Man X and Battle Network, but these aren't the highest quality videos in the world, so I try to save them for when I'm not feeling well or I'm extra busy. And right now, I'm extra busy with a very big video project that you guys are going to see soon, hopefully, so you'll see it. I'm going to leave it as a, as a surprise, but hopefully you guys enjoy whenever that releases. Anyway, we're already almost done with Top Man stage. It's, it's really easy. I mean, sometimes I'm taking some damage here and there. It does it matter in this stage like nothing does that much damage so yeah i think you could do this continuously yeah there's some of these jumps it looks like you won't make but i think you can like it sucks you up onto the platform pause anyway now it's time for top man the one of the easiest robot masters of all time and definitely the easiest robot master from mega man 3 i immediately get hit as i say that but you know what it doesn't matter he just ch charges at you Wow, I have his timing off. It's been a while since I played this game. Anyway, he charges at you. You shoot at him a little bit, slide under these, shoot at him some more, and then when he charges at you, just jump. Yeah, sorry about getting hit twice. I was looking at my other screen. <laughs> um, I thought I could do that without looking, but... I guess he's not that easy. This part about Mega Man 3, I like. I like how it shows you collect the explosion of Top Man's debris and get his power. That's one of my favorite parts of this game. Though in a speedrunning sense, that is annoying. But from another speedrunning sense, this is a lot faster than Dr. Light for Mega Man 2. Anyway, up next is Shadow Man. What most people would consider the hardest robot master from this game, but I would disagree. Who do I think is the hardest robot master, you may ask? Well... I'll tell you when the time comes, you gotta keep watching. This is one of the most fun stages in the game as well. I remember as a kid I had trouble with it, but once you get good at this stage, it becomes extremely fun. Also, we have our first Proto Man fight. Proto Man is a lot easier than people think because all you have to do is get behind him. It's as simple as that, guys. If you just get behind Proto Man, you <laughs> he can't do anything about it. He'll never turn around. Also, I'm going to have trouble mashing. I'm, I don't really use Turbo, and on an NES controller, it's a lot easier to mash than on an Xbox controller. And I'm on PC, by the way, not Xbox, but I am using a Xbox controller. This is one of the most mash-heavy games of all time, let alone in the Mega Man series. A lot of enemies just take a lot of shots to kill, and for some reason, unlike Mega Man 2, it just feels like you have to mash way more. Like in other games, you of course have the charge shot and other means of doing stuff, and I guess I have special weapons like Topspin, but come on, who's gonna use Topspin? A lot of people do use Topspin right here, but it's just so unreliable. In my worst weapons video, I said Topspin sucks, and this section is what a lot of people reference. Like, you could use Topspin against these guys, but why not just do what I'm doing right here? They aren't hard to kill with your plain old dude. And if you use topspin, guess what happens? You get, you get knocked into a hole. Who wants that? 
Also, these mosquitoes are too slow to do anything. Never waste your time shooting them. I will use topspin now, however, because sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll kill Shadow Man in one hit. Do you always kill Shadow Man in one hit? Well, no. As you can see. The programming for this top spin is very weird. I think it has to do with the amount of frames you're hitting him, but I don't understand it, so I'm not even going to try to explain. Shadow Man's weapon beats Spark Man, so let's go on to Spark Man stage. It's only natural, right? This is one of my favorite songs in Mega Man 3. I probably should have made this a number one favorite, but I mean, if you want to see what I made the number one favorite, you gotta watch the video. This is another laggy stage, but it's one where if you get used to the lag, it's not really a problem, and you could actually use the lag to help you, at least on a real NES. And in one of my videos, I mentioned lag in the Legacy Collection and lag on real NES hardware. And I wasn't trying to say that there's no lag on an NES because there is. But for some reason, I'm just more used to the lag on an NES and it just doesn't mess me up. Like I can time the slowdowns perfectly without any issue. But on the Legacy Collection, it seems slightly weird. Also, did you guys see that? Why did the platform not go up? We gotta call somebody about that platform. It's not working. You see that? That was also cool. See, I'm good at Mega Man, guys. I'm not just I'm not just trolling when I say that <laughs> you guys are bad. You guys aren't bad, by the way. That is a troll. I am just trolling when I say you guys are bad. Unless, of course, you say Rockman and Forte on the Super Nintendo is too hard. Or not too hard. If you say Rockman and Forte on the Super Nintendo is a bad game, then you're just bad. Just play as bass. If you have trouble with bass, I don't know what to tell you. Also, I don't know why the sliding is so glitchy on these platforms but whatever this game is very glitchy it's maybe the most glitchy Mega Man game other than Mega Man 1 maybe so this part can be tricky um I have muscle memory for this part so I don't really have trouble with it if you want to do that the easy way just just hop off the platform and kill them but that's the cool way to do it and you know how we do it on Tutor P videos we do it the cool way now it's time for Spark Man and you already know what weapon we're gonna use there you go So this is worse Metal Blade, it's still great, one of the best weapons in this game, but it's no Metal Blade. I, that was a terrible fight, but because of how good this weakness is, it just melted Spark Man. Being good at Mega Man is more about knowing what weapons kill what boss and like how to get through the stages than it is about doing no hits. But like I promised a few months ago, I will eventually do a video on how to beat every boss without getting hit. That's just a video that's going to take a lot of time. So, you know, it's a big project. That's not the big project I was talking about earlier, though. I promise with Spark Man beat, it's time to beat Magnet Man because I'm pretty sure Spark Man beats Magnet Man, right? I don't know, I guess we'll see. I used to hate this level as a kid. It has a lot of cool features like this, ma these magnet fly things or whatever, but the block puzzles coming up are some of my least favorite ever. Of course, I don't have problems with them now, but back in the day, whew, they were not fun. Also, Proto Man again. We know the strat, guys, right? Do you remember the strat? There we go, guys. Just get behind Proto Man. Proto Man's a guy I can get behind. That wasn't funny, I'm sorry. Also, in Mega Man 1 and 2, those are games that I actively used to speedrun, and Mega Man 3 is not. So if my gameplay is not as crisp as the last two videos we did on Mega Man 1 and 2, I do apologize. I've obviously beaten this game a lot casually on the real NES and the Legacy Collection and on emulators, but I've never speed ran this game. So there's probably going to be times where I play stupid. So I apologize in advance for that. Like right there, that was stupid. Gotta love block puzzles. They're so fun. In all seriousness, these block puzzles aren't super hard or anything. They're just really annoying, which is why I hated them as a child. But as an adult, I obviously have no problem. They all have easy tricks to them. I died on purpose. If this guy gives me weapon energy, I'll show you the rush jet glitch. All right, we got a little bit of weapon energy. So check this out. Once you have Shadow Man's power unlocked, press right, enter. And this is actually rush jet. Look, isn't that crazy? I have Rush Jet, even though I don't have Rush Jet. You know, if you saw my video on the best glitch from every Mega Man game, you would have known that though. So, uh, yeah, if you didn't know that, you're a fake Tutor P fan. Time to battle Magnet Man, who I really hope is weak to Spark Man because I think he is. But again, I don't speed run this game and I never have, so I could be wrong. It looks like he's very weak to Spark Man, which does make sense. I mean, magnets and sparks, I... I, don't, I guess that doesn't make sense. 
I mean, magnets and electricity are like kind of the same thing, right? I don't know. I don't know how magnets work. And Magnet Man beats Hard Man. And this guy's not hard. You know who Hard Man beats, though? Top Man, which means we're going to run into some problems after this stage. All right. Well, this is one of my least favorite stages of all time, or at least this room specifically. I actually don't hate this stage or anything, but it's just so annoying. Like As a kid, it was one of the first stages other than like Top Man stages I was able to beat. I learned really early to just brute force this room. Like, don't worry about your damage or getting hit. Just go. Just get out of there as fast as possible. There's literally energy right here to reward you just for that. Shoutouts to my homie, uh, is this Hammer Joe? I don't know why he's called Hammer Joe, but I think he is. Like, those aren't hammers, but it is Hammer Joe. All right, these monkeys right here, guess what? There's another use for topspin. Check this out. Okay, that, that was not a great example. Like that, you see that? Topspin's useful. Yeah. Let's go top spin. A lot of people got mad at me for saying top spin was the worst weapon in that worst weapons video, by the way, despite that being a, mostly a joke for my kid self who hated top spin, because first of all, when you have top spin selected and you're not in the air, it does nothing. I know you hear me pressing the button. It does nothing. I hate that. That's why I called it the worst, because as a kid, that didn't make any sense to me. Spark Shot is maybe worse, but you know there are some places Spark Shot can be useful. For example, um, Magnet Man, and also the Doc Robot boss. But boss fights aside, you can do some cool stuff with Spark Shot that I'll try to show you if I remember, but there's a good chance I don't remember, so. Wait, does Spark Shot work on Proto Man? It's a little harder to get behind Proto Man on that one, but there's energy here, so... Hey, you want to see a spot where Spark Shot works? Check this out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's, you call that a bad weapon? Okay, maybe, maybe it is still a bad weapon, but every weapon has its uses, okay? Yeah, so Hardman's really easy, ironically. He was one of the first bosses I was able to beat as a child, which is surprising because I remember using the plain old dude against Hardman, which isn't the easiest thing ever, but I think if you have full health, you can just tank his shots for the most part. I don't know. Hardman's a weird boss. Why, why is he called Hardman? I think someone told me in the comment section one time. I may have asked that in the video, but I forgot. Now we have three bosses who we don't have a weakness to. There's a chance we have a secondary weakness. Like, I bet Shadow Man's weapon is the secondary weakness to one of these guys but i don't care because snake man you could also be with your plain old dude pretty easily plus i love this guy and his stage so let's play it this is one of my favorite stages ever i mean it just looks cool it's fun it does have the dadas which are really ugly they won the award for the ugliest enemy for Mega Man 3, if you guys remember and you've seen that video. But these snakeheads make up for it. Like, this is so cool. If it wasn't for the part at the end of this stage, I guarantee this would have been the first stage I beat as a kid because I played this all the time as a kid. I think there's a glitch you could do. Wait a minute. There's, a, there's like a zip you could do here, right? How do I do? I don't, I don't know how to do this. I'm going to kill myself trying to do the zip. Let's not do that. I think there's a zip you could do right here, though. I just don't remember. You, like, slide... I don't know. Hey, can you guys give me health? I'm about to die. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Snake Man stage. Wow. Isn't that convenient? So, in this area, if you time your slides right, you can just dodge both of them, I think, without doing anything. But I have trouble with that. I won't lie. You can do it, though. And if you practice, you probably won't have trouble with it because that's how practice works. Up there is the question mark boxes. And I am a gambler, but I don't want to waste my time. So let's see what we would have won. Wow, two big ones. Luckily, I don't want them. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try the glitch. I don't remember how to do it, but I'm going to try it. Maybe you need rush. Okay, okay, that's, that's enough. I think I do have an E-Tank from Hardman stage, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm too stubborn. Luckily, there's health up here and basically all over this stage. That might just be a thing with Mega Man 3 in general that I'm forgetting about. There's just a lot of health everywhere. I don't, I'm not sure why, but I'm thankful. This part is the worst part of Snake Man stage just because these platforms are terrible. I hate these platforms. Did I do a worst platforms video? I definitely did a best platforms video. Did I do a worst? That might be my... You see what I mean? This section isn't bad as in like impossible, but it's just so annoying. And with these white clouds contrasting with the white cloud in the background, it's just, ah, I hate this section. 
But we got through it. We got through it, gamers. And with Snake Man, the way I play it, you only need enough health to survive one attack. Because basically what I do is I just tank one hits once he gets down from here. And then you just you just juke him out. And you jump over him that way. And if you can do that right... Uh, I might have done it wrong. Oh, you could also just stand... I didn't even know that. Well, I guess that's how you do it without getting damaged. You stand under the platform. I didn't know he jumped over you. I just assumed that you would get hurt. Well... That makes this fight even easier than I thought it was, so... Shout out to Snake Man for being so nice. You do have to jump a lot earlier than you might think you do when you're on top of the platform jumping over him. Especially with the lag. The lag will really mess you up sometimes. But overall, this is an easy fight. It's not the easiest fight ever. Like, it's not as easy as Top Man or, like, anybody with their weakness, but... It's, it's a learnable fight. It's like your first try, you're probably going to be like, this is so hard. But as far as boss fights go, it's very learnable. He has a pattern and yet the pattern's easy to dodge. Now it's time to face Gemini Man. This guy is also not the hardest robot master ever, but a lot of people have trouble with him. I'll show you the trick with him in a second. This stage, on the other hand, is pretty tricky. I, it's not impossible, but there's just a lot of things that do a lot of damage to you. And... As far as Mega Man's concerned, that ain't good. I always try to get in between the flames on this guy, but I always miss. So, don't copy me. Weapon energy. You know what that means? We can get Rush Jet. Let's go. Let's go. We got Rush Jet. Too bad we don't really need Rush Jet. Oh, there is a spot that Rush Jet could be useful in this stage, actually. More gambling. Th this part makes Gemini Man stage worth it. Yes, it's laggy. Yes, it's slow. But you know what? You can get full health. You could get some extra lives. Maybe you can even get an E-Tank. I don't know if you can get an E-Tank. If you can't get an E-Tank from these eggs or these fish things, you definitely can from that question mark up there in the top left. Also, these sprites are very, like, low quality and weird. I feel like for a Mega Man sprite and even an NES sprite like I don't know here let me spawn one more wow my aim is bad I mean look at that guy he's cute and he's funny but like why does he look like that yeah I got the jump that's all that matters the run is good if I get that jump oh, I hate those mosquitoes so much there's a reason that you're one of the worst enemies ever you mosquito you I don't know why that one spawned though, that seemed a little pointless. I will be picking up this because I think the next room is an annoying one and we're gonna want as much health as possible for just the shenanigans that will ensue. So normally I'd use Rush Marine here and Rush Marine, you know, that's a great power and all. But Rush Jet, we're, I mean, we're playing Mega Man 3, what do you expect? If you didn't know, when you're jumping in the air, Rush, like, when you're not touching Rush, Rush does not take any of the weapon energy away. So that's why I'm constantly jumping. I think I could pick up that E-Tank from down here, yeah. So, there's really no reason. It's because the screen wraps around, by the way. There's no reason not to use Rust Jet here. Will I run out of weapon energy? Find out in the next episode of Tutor P. The answer is no, because, you know, and I can just pause and respawn our... Oh, I can't... No! Well, anyway, I'm glad this part is finally over. No! Anyway, now that we're actually through this part and we got all the E-Tanks, we're looking good. Could I use the E-Tank here and be super safe because we have three? Yes. But will I? No. I will, however, use Top Spin. Yeah, Top Spin. And you already know what I'm about to use here. Ooh. Wait, what? I need to see how big this guy's hitbox is because I was a disbelief. Or we could just do that. What? How big is his hitbox? Let's just wait for him to finish his jump. Okay, yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah. See, Spark Shot is useful. I will use an E-Tank here simply because it's a boss fight, and you never know with those. Could I be Gemini Man without getting hit? Probably. But Gemini Man is a trickier robot master. So here's you want to jump counterclockwise. Is that where I'm going? You want to jump left until you get Gemini Man. And Gemini Man shoots or jumps every time you shoot. Or shoots every time you shoot. I don't know. He has a very manipulate. Uh, uh, he has a pattern that's very easy to manipulate, but that still doesn't make it very easy unless you're practiced. Like if I sat here and practiced this fight three times, I could have a perfect fight for you guys. But I'm trying to make this more like a let's play, and I'm showing you guys my mistakes in Mega Man to show that even the great Tutor P can make mistakes sometimes. Even though we've been doing pretty good this run, I think a lot of those deaths have been for the meme. Anyway, here's Needle Man, the hardest boss for Mega Man 3, the hardest Robot Master, I should say, because the Doc Robots are a lot harder. So here's a fun fact that you guys probably didn't know. I used to have a 
blueberry flip phone back in the day i don't know the model but it was a very old flip phone and in the app store there was Mega Man 3 on it and i beat this entire game on a flip phone keyboard when i was like seven six or seven years old and uh yeah the phone didn't really work i couldn't use it to like talk to people but I did have Mega Man 3, and it was one of my, like, granddad's old phones that he gave me. And I beat the entirety of Mega Man 3, which is part of the reason I probably am a little biased and think this game's overrated and a little hard, but I still love Mega Man 3 nonetheless. I mean, I beat the whole game on the phone. If I didn't like it, I would have rage quit. I don't know. I, you guys probably don't care, but I just thought that was a funny story. Oh, God. How do I kill this guy? Does Magna Man get him? Okay, yeah. Magna Man gets him. That's good to know. I do want this E-Tank just because I used one. And why not get his right there? Oh boy, time for Hammer Joe. Are they weak to Gemini Man or something? Eh, who cares? Who cares? Oh, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? We get to use guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who's bad? Who's a bad weapon now? Who's the worst weapon now, huh? It ain't Spark Shot. I'll tell you that. Okay, this fight is just stupid, and I hate it. Needle Man with Plain Old Dude is probably my least favorite fight in Mega Man Three. Needleman with Gemini Man, however, is a little bit easier, but just frustrating because if I would have missed one of those shots, it would have bounced around the room for like eight hours and I would have cried on camera. Well, I'm not on camera, but you would have heard me going like, <laughs> you know, you know how crying sounds, I, I, I assume. I assume you know how crying sounds. And we finally got Rush Jet last. Now, I got Rush Jet last because we actually got Rush Jet second by beating Shadow Man. Now it's time for actually the hardest part of the game, the Doc Robots. Let's just start with Shadow Man. Uh, there's no real good order to get these out of. It's the four hardest stages in the game. Well, the three hardest stages in the game and Spark Man, and then they made Spark Man stage significantly harder than it ever has been. Also, I just realized I forgot to show you guys the Proto Man pause glitch, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think there's any more Proto Man fights. There's the Break Man fight, but that's not the same thing. I didn't even need Spark Man for that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, first try! No. This section isn't hard, it's just weird. Like, you have a few seconds to, like, run, and if you actually run on top of those things, then you make it every time, but if you don't run, then you're kind of screwed. Same with here, like, you have to, you have to be running. But luckily, we can run, I guess. That's good. That actually was first try that time. And so was the last time if I wasn't trying to make a joke, guys. I know I'm going to get comments saying, You're so bad. How did you die? You're so bad. Guys. Guys. Content. This is a YouTube video. I think it's needles, right? Yeah, okay. It's Needle Man. I'm actually just going to have to use an E-Tank. This fight is annoying because he does a lot of damage and because his hitbox is way bigger than Woodman's. And worst of all, you can't do that glitch. With Woodman's shield, you can, like, use Airman's weapon and glitch through it and kill him faster. Not with the Doc Robots. Gotta love that. Well, here's more of these guys. Parasuyu, I think, are their name. They're annoying, but they're a lot better than when things jump out of holes, I can tell you that. I hate anything that comes out of a hole. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I said it again. Luckily, that section is somehow easier <laughs> than the original section of Parasuyu's, but whatever. I'm not complaining. Also, don't these missiles look like super missiles from Super Metroid? Anybody? No? Okay. Alright, which one is this? Is this Heat Man? Yeah, it is Heat Man. Can you calm down, Heat Man? These are so much harder than the Mega Man 2 bosses. And, like, part of it's because of their hitbox, but, like, good grief. How'd I miss? Whatever. Whatever. Freak you, Dark Shadow Mans. What is that? Heat Man and Wood Man? We still got six more? This- Ah! Uh, the Dark Robots are what I don't like about Mega Man 3. Yes, they're fun. I like the remix on the stages. And yes, I think it's a cool idea. But this is like Mario Maker levels of difficult- Or Mega Man Maker. I don't- I haven't played Mega Man Maker yet. I eventually will. That is something I want to do soon. Don't worry. And whenever I play it, I'll ask you guys to send me levels on like Discord or something. I did not know. I, for some reason, I thought that guy would turn around. I didn't think he was going to fall on me. Luckily, we have Shadow Blade. If we didn't have Shadow Blade, that guy would hurt. Real bad. These platforming sections and Sparkman stages, both of them have always intimidated me as a kid, but... You gotta be fearless when you play Mega Man. The more fearless you are, the less likely you are to die, which is weird. Alright, first boss. Which one is this? I don't remember. Metal Man.
That was actually way easier than I remember it being. Okay, well, Metal Man's easy, just like in Mega Man 2. I'd argue that Metal Man for Mega Man 2 with Plain Old Dude is harder, but then again, I did use his weakness right there, so of course it's harder with Plain Old Dude. I like falls like that in Mega Man. Does anybody else like giant falls like that in Mega Man that just accomplish nothing? They accomplish my happiness. Does that count? That's gotta count for something, right? <laughs> no! No! I should have just switched to Shadow Blade. That section's fun. I f you would think that the final section of sp the Dark Spark Man stage is would be harder, but it's okay. I guess Quick Man Doc Robot <laughs> makes up for it. What is he even weak to? I don't remember. Oh right, Gemini Laser. That's a good YouTube channel. Go check him out. Ah, leave me alone. I just want to pause the game so I could use an e-tank. Good thing this game has tons of e-tanks in it because the Doc Robot stages are just ugh. Oh, come on, come on, snipe him. Let's get the snipe. Yes! Let's go! That was calculated. But yeah, if it wasn't for the amount of E-Tanks in this game, it would be a lot harder. Because the dog robots are just annoying. Like, again, they're not the hardest in the world, but like, ugh. I don't know. <laughs> like, I like hard games, and I even enjoy this. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to complain, but they're very difficult. They're the main reason I don't replay Mega Man 3. Because there, there's just so many of them. There's eight of them. There's 16 regular Robot Master bosses in this game and Breakman and Castle bosses. The idea of having two separate Wily Castles in future games is so much better, at least to me. I think that's way cooler. Because if those are hard, it's like, okay, I'm inside of a Wily Castle. But if the Doc Robots are hard, it's like, uh, uh, I'm on the same stage as I've been playing already. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to be a hater. I do think it's cool that they remix the stages, and I do think it's cool that they brought back the Mega Man 2 bosses, but Doc Robots, man, am I right? Also, why didn't they call them Skull Robots? I know it was a translation error, but Doc isn't a word. Do I jump down there? Okay, yeah. I, I didn't remember. Gotta love these eggs. I like how this is the one game without a shield weapon, too. A shield weapon would demolish these. And I, I do hate shield weapons, but... <laughs> The one time a shield weapon would be great. Here we are. I guess you could argue top spin is a shield weapon, but that'd be a real uphill argument. What does it shield you from? Having fun? Got him. That extra man was a sign from the universe that what I said was right. But that's... <laughs> never mind. The universe changed his mind because I hit an enemy. Which boss is this? Flash man? Yep. Ah! Get off of me! Okay, shoo, that was close. I think I would have died if he froze time. Th these, okay, I think I remember why the dock robots are so hard, or at least how I can articulate on it. When they touch you, they do so much more damage than any of their attacks do, which is so annoying. Because you'll be like subliminally used to their attacks doing a set amount of damage, and then they touch you and do like three times as much damage as their normal attacks do. And with Mega Man 2 bosses, they're like constantly just shoving themselves at you, so. Ugh. But we, we got through it. We're both, we're already more than halfway done with the dock robots now. Also, I should be jumping, but at this point, why? All the swag drops. You see that? How did my health get so low? I just realized. I thought I had more health than this. Luckily, I think I can farm these guys. Well, time to farm. We're playing Stardew Valley, guys. I do like Stardew Valley, by the way. So if you would s somehow want to see a Stardew Valley video, let me know. I like that game. Oh, of course, the one guy that drops a big energy, huh? All right, this is Bubble Man, I think, who I don't know what he's weak to. We're gonna have to just guess. Logically, it would be Shadow Blade, right? Is it not? Is this a secondary? Uh-oh. This isn't good. You know what? I'm just gonna take the death. We have so many lives, so might as well. And now we have full health. All right, Bubble Man. You may be upgraded, but you're still no match for pointy objects. Except, of course, those spikes on your ceiling. I don't know how you've lived with them in a symbiotic relationship for so long. But you know what? I ain't judging, Bubble Man. There we go. We beat Bubble Man. I mean, Doc Bubble Man. I mean, Skull Bubble Man. Now we only have the Needle Man. This might be my least favorite stage in the game just because I had so much trouble with this on my f flip phone when I played it. But the background is beautiful, I can't lie. The nighttime city, gotta love it. I can't be a hater on everything, folks. That's just how it is. Look at that clean gameplay. Look at that clean gameplay. 
Even that was kind of clean. We didn't get any damage. No damage taken so far in the worst stage in the game. By golly, is this a good sign? You know, okay, you know when they give you an energy tank and an extra man that things are about to get difficult. And I think this is the Doc Robot that's weak to Sparkman. What is this, Crash Man or something? Airman. No, of course. I actually do remember that it's Airman. I don't know why I said Crash Man. The patterns that are bad in this one are the ones that are actually good in Mega Man 2 and vice versa. For his tornadoes. Okay, there we go. He, we beat him. But in Mega Man 2, like, some of the worst patterns are actually some of the best because you could slide in this game. Alright, so this section a lot of people will say is really hard, but if you know the tricks, it ain't hard. First of all, always jump on top of Rush. Okay, I can't get hit by that anymore. And I'm staying a little bit towards the middle of the screen, except for when I'm getting those energies, because Mega Man, like, wraps around. So when I jump, I'll pick up this energy. But you have to be careful, because his hitbox can also hit enemies at the top of the screen. But yeah, when you jump, you don't lose any weapon energy. Plus, you can pick up weapon energy from the bottom of the screen. Except for this one. No, okay, you can't get that one. <laughs> I was about to say, well, since when? And look at that. We have, we got through it with one HP. Isn't that great? Oh, please don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Whew. There's a boss here, right? Oh, I should have used Search Snake. Is that what it was? I think Search Snake just demolishes that guy. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. That was getting bad. Oh, and an extra life. This game is being real nice to me. Ow. All that energy I just got, you took away. You jerk. Uh-oh. This could be very bad. Whew. That was scary. Good thing we got another energy. I probably will use an E-Tank here because it's Crash Man. We haven't used Hard Knuckle. Oh, God. I hate this weapon. This might actually be the worst. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, what a clutch. I didn't even have to use an E-Tank. That Okay. We got past the Doc Robots, guys. This is crazy. Also, now, now the real hardest boss in the game. Break Man. Yeah, um, I don't understand why this is a, a boss fight. But, you know, same rules apply. Just get behind him. Also, why does he not have a health bar? Like, you would think in this one he'd have a health bar. And why does he have a different sprite? What, what is up with Break Man? Oh, no. Right after we received the last element. What? Why Lee, why Lay ran off with Gamma? Dr. Light, what are you talking about? Time for one of the weaker Wily castles in Mega Man. Um, it's not a bad Wily cat. I just accidentally hit rewind. I didn't mean to ignore that. Please ignore that. This is one of the weaker Wily castles in Mega Man, but it's not bad by any means. The only reason I say it's weakest is mostly because of the castle bosses, which I've talked extensively about in many videos, which you should go watch if you somehow haven't. But the levels themselves are actually pretty fun and some of my favorites. Gotta get the E-Tank, even though we really don't need it at this point. Come on, penguins. Dang it. I really wanted to have a clean screen. But it's too late. The screen's all dirty. That's an extra man I will not be getting. I don't care to use Hard Knuckle twice. That would take like three years of my life. Same with that E-Tank. I'm all about getting E-Tanks and extra men, but not those. This is probably the most annoyingly placed Hammer Joe in the whole game. But luckily, we have the most overpowered weapon in the whole game. Take that, Hammer Joe. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, game. It's not happening. And that's the whole stage. It's a fun one, but... You know. Alright, time for the turtle boss. Turtle making machine, I should say. I like this boss a lot, but I've talked about him so much in my videos. Like, I, <laughs> I've made so many videos on castle bosses, like, recently, specifically. Like, if, if I did this video a few months from now, I might be talking about this guy some more. But I feel like I've said so much about this boss. Uh, <laughs> it, it's fun. It's pretty easy. Uh, yeah, and it's dead. I feel like it should shoot out like at least three more turtles, and I wish the turtles changed colors as they came out for like difficulty. Kind of like the Mega Man 1 Bubble Boss, but wh whatever. I'm being nitpicky. This stage looks like Wily 4, but luckily it's not as bad. I take it back. This stage sucks. Even these stupid enemies are colored to look cooler and match the stage background a little better, which I appreciate. But these bees. 
terrible. You should have at least made him like blue or something. This is just awful. Whose idea was this? If you know who worked at Capcom and came with the bees idea, please tell me. I just want to talk. Why are there so many E-Tanks in such a short span? Why, where were these when we were fighting the dog robots? That's the whole stage. Oh yeah, it's because it's the yellow devil Marcus too. Luckily, this guy's really easy. There's a few ways to go about it. Um... I might try the easy every time glitch once. If you don't know the easy every time glitch, you get behind here and you just start mashing when the time comes. Okay, I couldn't mash nearly fast enough, but I mostly did that so you guys could see the idea. Like, we got rid of half its health. That's I'm sure that's more than two hard knuckles could have gotten, right? I guess we'll see. I don't know why I didn't jump. I, I like In my brain, I was like, jump now. I just didn't do it. Yeah, okay. The easy every time glitch, as I suspected, did significantly more damage than Hard Knuckle. And there's the Yellow Devil Marcus 2. I hate that boss, but it's not because it's difficult. It's just ugly. It is harder than the first Yellow Devil for some reason, despite giving you more chances to attack it, but whatever. I'm not going to elaborate. Are you kidding me? Freak this guy. Are you joking? Oh my... Stop! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh my gosh, incoming Twitter memes of me edited on the Akira guy. Joke's on you, I don't use Twitter, <laughs> except to post my videos. Oh no, I do have a Discord meme channel though. I'm sure someone's gonna make that a meme in my Discord. Hopefully they don't. I think these sections are really cool. It, like, they're scary because you can't see anything, but... I, you know what? That's a good gimmick. Oh, guess what? Guess what we're using, guys? I gotta prove to the world. That's not high enough. That, that was just terrible. I one shot. There we go. <laughs> we made the same mistake twice. Albert Einstein or Thomas Edison, who, whoever said that, would be so upset right now. Oh, I love this room. This room is so fun. In the challenges in Mega Man Legacy Collection, sometimes you get to this room, and if you die, it just completes the room, <laughs> which is funny. Let's gamble. I'm not going to waste time with Hard Knuckle, but I do want to gamble. I can't help it. I like gambling. Good thing we didn't waste time with Hard Knuckle, am I right? Alright, Clone Mega Man time. You already know the glitch here, I assume. Yes, we got it! Did you guys see that? We did a topspin bullet! You see, the way that glitch works is actually- And here we are to this Wily stage. This reminds me of uh, one of the Wily stages from Mega Man 4. Or maybe I'm thinking of Rockman 4 minus infinity. Are these enemies reused or something? I don't know. Rockman 4 minus infinity is a game I want to play too. I will include it in this series. And I will do videos on ROM hacks in the future as well. And fan games like Mega Man Unlimited. And especially Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. I have an idea for that one that I've been saving. That you guys might like. You might not. But, you know. You might. Well, we lost half of our health. Time to face the bosses. In the refights. Luckily, we have all their weaknesses at this point, but we did get the worst one possible. Well, time to hear me start crying. What? I got delayed! I got glitched! It's a glitch! Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. We didn't die. Alright, who are you? Gemini, man. Good grief. Gemini man, more like Jimadai man. <laughs> that was funny, right? You know, Magnum man, you're really weird. But you know what? At least you're weak to Spark Shot. So I get to tell people that Top Spin is not the worst weapon. Which is all I care about. I mean, wait a minute. I, that Top Spin is the worst weapon. It is. Top Spin sucks. Hard man, more like... Okay, this guy is weak to hard man, but... I don't care. He's too easy for that. There you go. Oh, top man without getting hit! That was so cool! I will use top man's power here. I know this is the worst in the game, but... Do you see this? I'm out of Top Man. This is why Top Man's weapon sucks. 
Sparkman would never do this to me. Good grief. I almost had to fight Shadow Man with plain old dude. I did have to fight Shadow Man with plain old dude. What the heck, Top Man? For some reason, I always expect uh, Shadow Man's weapon to work like a boomerang, where like if I shoot it straight and then like fall down, I expect it to fall down diagonally to me, but that never happens. And that, that throws me off. This guy's weak to Needle Man, right? I always do this guy plain old dude, so I, I could never tell. <laughs> he seems pretty weak to Needle Man to me, I don't know. Ouch. Oh, a secret teleporter, guys! Guys! Oh, wait, I should have actually got top man. I need a good bit of this. Should be good on everything else, right? I might need more rush, actually. Good thing we gambled. Gambling's good, guys. You heard it from here. Quote Tutor P, gambling is good. Okay, so this guy, I usually use snake and I spam right about now. Yeah. Now I gotta get out from under this guy quick. I, is it still snake that he's weak to? Using another E-Tank, I don't even care. The other boss is too easy, so. Yes! Let's go! Hard Knuckle for the win! That was way harder than I remember. Is there another weapon I can use? Does Snake still work? Because I feel like I remember there being a trick for that boss. And I know the Snake, Search Snake, worked for the other phase, but maybe it's both. Maybe I was supposed to use Search Snake for both phases. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've played Mega Man 3 or seen a speedrun even. I'm not even going to get the E-Tank. We don't need it. We have too many already. We have too many at home. What is, it, what is he weak to? I forgot. I forgot. Okay, no, this is what it was. Now I remember. Now I use top spin, right? It didn't kill him in one hit! The comment section lied! Just maybe, top spin isn't so great. Yes, we killed the final boss with top spin, but who cares? I hate top spin still. This this let's play solidified it. Spark shot is better than top spin. Let's start two gangs in the Tutor P fandom. Spark shot gang and top spin gang. What gang are you a part of? I'm a part of top no no. I'm a part of Spark Shot Gang. You know those memes from Black Ops Zombies where it's like the Olympia users versus the M14 users? We need to make those with Top Spin Gang versus Spark Shot Gang. And you know what? I bet Top Spin Gang users can't even beat Mega Man 3. I bet Top Spin Gang users have to use Turbo or Rewind in the Mega Man Legacy Collection. I bet Top Spin Gang users can't beat Breakman. I bet Top Spin users. I bet Top Spin Gang. <laughs> I bet Top Spin User Gang has to plug in a controller to port 2 to use cheat codes in Mega Man 3. Alright, I'm sorry for talking over the best song for Mega Man 3, but I did enjoy playing this. It was fun doing another one of these Let's Plays for you guys, and I do hope you enjoy. Like I've been saying, these do not get the same amount of views as my other videos, so I'm not just gonna make a bunch of these in a row, but I have been seeing a lot of support in the comment section on these videos, so it seems like you guys do really enjoy them, and because of that, I'm not going to just cut this series off at any point. I will do Mega Man 4, and 5, and 6, and Rockman 4 minus Infinity, because why not and 7 and 8 and 9 10 11 and rockman and forte and the x series and maybe the battle network series and event you know what the zero series too maybe i'll make one of these for the zero series before i live stream now nah, you know what I'll do a live stream for the games that I play blind, and then once I beat them blind, I'll do a game like this. But anyway, now that we're at the actual credits, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Obviously, it's not scripted, so it's not going to be at the same quality, but I still hope you enjoyed. Anyway, let's head back to real life Tutor P to end this video off in style. Well, but that was how to beat Mega Man 3 the cool way, as always. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and of course, this is different from my normal videos. I have done a video like this once or twice with the Mega Man 1 and 2 videos I've done, but... This isn't going to be a regular thing, it's just going to be something I do every now and then when I'm working on bigger projects or I don't have time to make a full on Tutor P video and I've seen you guys in the comments enjoy it so I hope you aren't lying just to be nice because I don't want to make these videos if you guys don't want to watch them. I mean I do enjoy making them, trust me. Making Let's Plays is something I've always wanted to do but... If you guys don't want to watch them, I won't make them. So if you enjoyed, comment down below. And if you didn't enjoy, also comment down below. I'm not even going to make fun of you this time. 
Well, maybe a little. I might make fun of you a little. Anyway, this outro has gone on long enough, so I'll see you guys in the next one.